Good day, Merry Meet. My name is Glennis, and I am the Witch of Whitetail Hollow, and I want to warmly welcome you to Wednesday Witch's Brew. A great forum where you can ask what you like or not, or I can share what I like or not. And I wanted to share a little bit of a haul <laughs> that I went on. Actually, this is a combination of a couple. Now, I don't think, other than this, this was all bought at a thrift store, so people donated. And nothing that I have bought was, like, new. Like, I didn't go out to a store and just decide to go, Whoa. <laughs> All of these things, I assure you guys, all of these things are going to be used for a specific purpose. Um, I don't buy anything that I don't absolutely think that you guys want to enjoy and that I want to enjoy too. So, uh, but I, first I wanted to share with you before I start with the haul, first I wanted to share with you, I did break my geodes this past weekend. And yes, I did have a few beers and I'm hoping that I can get it close enough. I've already been working with a couple of them. A couple of pieces and uh, one of these pieces is going to go to someone so yeah but let me get some of the better pieces maybe a little bit up closer for you guys oh I can't get by um, I'm not really sure if you can see to me as I look at them this particularly this one they're so so incredibly clear I would say they were quartz, but as I really, really look at them very, very hard, there is a purple tinge to them. So I think that there's a lot of amethyst in here. So I'm really happy about that. And I'm absolutely enjoying a cup of tea, a cup, a cup of peppermint tea at that. And I, I honestly, I, I'm not really quite sure where to start. I had someone ask me, or I actually had someone tell me, I know you are doing glamour spells. <laughs> Which I think that's very, very kind of them to say. And I have to say, yes, absolutely, of course I am. <laughs> I mean, um, I don't mind getting older. I'm, I can't say I'm happy about it. I guess I should say, yeah, I'm thrilled about it because, I mean, what's the alternative, right? But yes, I absolutely, you know, back in the day, back in the 60s and 70s, we used to call them beauty spells. Well, now I guess they're called glamour spells. But of course I do. But I want you to know, though, it, this is not any secret that I've kept. I have shared with you guys on Herb Week, I believe the letter was H, of uh, not only what I consumed internally, but as far as what I do for my skin uh, externally. And of course, what I take internally is good for my skin as well, because we all know skin is a huge, big organ. But um, I've given hints over the last course of the year of different herbs I've mentioned that are specifically related to youth and youthfulness. So I am going I'm going into old age kicking and screaming. Absolutely kicking and screaming. I'm going to use every herb that I can in any way, shape, or form that I can to stay as young as I can because I I'm I just feel like I'm just starting to live. I'm just starting to have boatloads of fun. And yeah, so I, I really don't want it to end. I mean, I know the reality of the situation, but that doesn't mean I can't look kind of half decent in the interim for my age, for my age. I'll have to say that. But the, yes, they said, I know you're doing glamour spells. Well, I never denied. <laughs> I never denied for one minute that I was doing glamour spells. So, but you know, you, you may want to go back to the letter H and rewatch that and go, okay, what is it? What's she putting on her face? What is she consuming in her body? Just saying. 
but onto the hull. Now, what I've done, actually, this is this is kind of part of the hull. Uh, I actually, you guys know this bowl with my little frogs, right? And I've been kind of getting into succulents a little bit more. And I planted these, and they've been doing very, very well. And I'm like, I, I really want a place for my my fae, because my fae are pewter. Here's one. Here's one. And I actually have three pewter fairies. And they have their little their little house. I think you can see. And there's little doors. There's actually little doors back here. And so I, I, I got that planted and I really there wasn't really a lot of room for some of the things that you buy at Dollar Tree to go in here. And obviously this bowl isn't as big as what my my eyes were. And I bought a little bit of a walkway. And I you know I kind of don't really like I mean it's okay. As you can see, there's a, a bare spot now. But when I was thrifting, I found and it and it was actually really on my list is and again this is all goodwill. Um so any price that you see or I say take 20% off of that. But uh I actually really had this on my list and it just so happens you guys know how it, you know how it works. Just so happens I was just walking about and there it is. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make this space right here where the walkway came out of and what I'm going to do is make them a little pond so they can have a little pond to to leisurely sit by and I'm hoping that I have enough it doesn't have to be really really deep uh, but yeah so when I get this finished I absolutely will share this with you guys um, I'm excited to kind of get started on it so yeah for a, a dollar dollar fifty I've got an acrylic set that was priced at ten dollars you guys know I'm a frugal witch so excuse me for popping in and out of out of the <laughs> the picture here. And I also and I know this is really cheesy, but <laughs> I I I'm a nut for little lamps, lights, big lights, little lights, it makes no difference. I love lighting, interior and exterior. And so when you come over to my house, you'll see I'm following the basic principles of design as far as lamp placement is concerned, but I found this 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 little light, and I've got I do actually do have it plugged in. I would have to uh, turn out all the lights, and I just don't think that's going to happen right now. But it's a little witch, and she's got her cauldron, and in here she does have a little bulb happening, and uh, you can. You know, you can just see behind her the, the glow and the flickering of the bulb. And again, that's one of those things, once I get everything set up, this is absolutely going to be there year-round. This isn't a Samhain thing. This is going to be year-round. And I thought, well, she's just so cute. I just absolutely loved her. And then I found another witch. Oh, my goodness. Now, someone actually made this because I look on the bottom and their name is right here along with the date which is 05 so I guess after so many years someone I don't know but she, of course she opens up and you know, I haven't washed it or anything but I can just a slight a slight aroma but I don't know whether I'm going to get it really good and cleaned up and have it for cookies or whether I'm going to use some herbs in it or something. More than likely, knowing me, I will probably place homemade cookies in here. Knowing me. And I found this. this. I don't know why I bought it other than probably because it was cheap, cheap, cheap. But I thought, you know, how, how cute would that be in a guest room 
filled with chocolates and little hard candies and things like that. Or in a bathroom with some nice toiletries in it or something. Or with maybe some bath salts or something. But, yeah. And again, all of these things. And, you know, I'm finding the more I'm going thrifting and finding some of the pieces that are, of course, in excellent condition. I'm, I'm not going to buy something with chips and broken and stuff like that. But the things that I do buy are, you know, made in India, um, you know, different places. Not I have encountered too many things that's made in China. So I, I feel pretty good about that because, you know, you and I both know if you go to the dollar store or some of the other bigger stores, especially little things like this, like this, it's going to be made in China. But I found a candle, of course. I've got a specific thing that I'm going to use for this candle, and I absolutely will share this with you. But it's a, a very dark eggplant colored candle. And let's see. Yes, there's more. <laughs> um, I found this little trivet. It's wood, and it's some inlays in it. And I actually have another one that's quite a bit bigger, but um, for some reason I'm really liking the hand-carved trivets and things like that. So again, I don't know what the inlay is. I mean, I can see it and I can feel it. I just can't identify it. I just, I'm not really quite sure what, what the inlay is. And I actually found, there's three of these. And I think I probably broke one when I was washing them. And they were bundled together like that. And they were all wrapped in saran wrap. And, and so they're all in various degrees of condition. <laughs> but what I thought they were, when I saw the glass, I thought, okay, well, they're something for to hold ornaments. And you guys know I make my witches uh, balls. And... As I look at it, it really, really isn't. It's just for a tea light holder, and this slides over the top. And you can hang it or, you know, put it in a room, room or something somewhere. And again, one of these I broke. So I think probably, knowing me, I'm going to get a pair of nips and see if I can get this handle off. And I will have a holder for my ornaments because there is a lady... There's another uh, lady on YouTube, and she has the most beautiful Novena candle stand. It is gorgeous, and for all of her spells, for and it you know it's something similar to this, although it's bigger, and it holds each Novena candle, and it's you know I would just dearly love to know where she got it. I thinking she probably had it made because I've looked all over and I haven't found one. I have found a candle stand, but not like hers, of course. But yeah, I bought these. So one day, you know, you just never know. I'm, I'm going to come out and there's going to be an ornament, a witch's ball here. But, um, and so I, I got those. And again, you know, for like a dollar or so. I also bought, and I found this. What I'm going to do with this, and I'm going to, of course, I'm going to make a video for it, is this is going to be a spell jar. I think I have a pretty good idea of what kind of a spell jar I'm going to make out of this, and then I'm going to make uh, I do have smaller jars, and I'm going to make a few smaller ones to go along with it. But I have one, I think, for like uh, energy and vitality and, you know, for fertility and things like that. And I think what I'm going to do with the smaller ones, I'm going to offer up um, to go along with some of the oils and herb blends that I sell. But this was made in Italy. So very, very pretty piece and and again I absolutely I'm going to do a video I absolutely will be sharing it with you so
that's that's going to be very very nice very very pretty it's going to be beautiful i've got all of everything that i need for it it's just a matter of finding the time to sit down and saying okay here we go <laughs> and i found let's see this is actually not a part of it i don't know what i'm doing also what i found to go along with my my spell bottle this one i found i actually these are brand new several different ribbons and again i'll absolutely show what i'm going to do one's an owl one's black and one is like a, a linen type it's beautiful 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 colors this is going to be lovely it's going to be pink salt peach moonstone time it's going to be gorgeous a gorgeous gorgeous spell bottle and i found and you guys i've already said how much i love little lamps and little things like that because there's nothing i like more of course good lighting but to be in my mountain cabin on a cold, cold winter night, waking up one, two, three o'clock in the morning, puttering about and maybe throwing another log on the fire and being able to move throughout the house with maybe just a little warm glow in one room and a warm glow just to kind of be able to find my way around. And this is one of those things that I bought for the kitchen. I'm, it's an open concept. The hollow is going to be an open concept. So there's going to be a big island and a bank of windows. And so you'll be able to get up out of your bedroom and walk out into the living room and be able to see, you know, beautiful, beautiful foyer. And uh, I bought this. And again, this is Yankee Candle. And so put a little light in here. It's going to be just beautiful. And of course, this is from Samhain on until Yule. I'll have this out. And of course, you guys know, I absolutely love my tea. <laughs> I absolutely love my tea. And speaking of tea, oh my goodness, speaking of tea, I found this. And I've always wanted one of these. I don't know why. <laughs> I have no idea why. But I thought, wouldn't it be lovely to for a guest? And I believe, well, I see an apple and I see grapes and uh, strawberry. So there's a number of things on this. And I didn't, I didn't really think to look to see where it was made. And I'm not really seeing any markings on it. But I thought, well, you know, really how nice, you know, for me to either treat myself to a beautiful, huge cup of tea or coffee and have my little pot there or for you guys. So set this one down. And yes, there's going to be an end. <laughs> there is absolutely going to be an end. And I found these two pomegranates. These are carved wood. Again, I got these really, really inexpensively. And, you know, as you guys know, I'm a Hecate, Hecate devotee. So absolutely, this is going to be a part of my decor as far as my craft room, what I call my craft room. So a couple of beautiful hand, I mean, as smooth as a baby's bum pomegranates and just a couple more things and I can't tell you why I bought this <laughs> isn't that odd but and I don't know what with how I'm going to use it but it is a carved it's a carved screen you could I guess you know fold it like so or you know have it setting like so or 
<laughs> or, hide, or hide something from you guys. But I actually, my uh, I have a book stand that is similar to this that's carved. And again, I'm, I'm not really sure how I'm going to use this, but for the price that it was and for what it is, I couldn't pass it up. So, yeah. I had to, I had to get that. I kind of wavered a little bit and I found and I'm trying to take my own advice that I give to my clients and I tell my clients, you know, if you're out and about and shopping and there's something that you're just immediately attracted to and you you just have to have it and you don't know where you're going to fit it in or where, why, how. Don't ask yourself too many questions. If you love it and if it resonates with you, buy it. Buy it. It will eventually, and I can attest to this, it will eventually work its way into your life. So, at some point in time, when you guys are at my house, you will see, oh, there's that screen. She used it for that. That's a good idea. Or, or whatever. Or like, what in the heck was she thinking putting it there? But all of these things, you know, will be there, will make their appearance. And, uh, yeah. So, and here's, and I should have brought this out earlier. Here's another jar that, um, again, I'm going to use it as a spell jar. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be for fertility or protection or what have you, but yeah, so I love different interesting shapes. And again, it's not, it's going to be really, really lovely. It's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous. And I absolutely will share that with you guys. And <laughs> I know it's like, what in the heck is this? But in my new home, I'm going to have a coffee bar, and you know, at that at that point, if you want coffee, tea, or whatever, and I'm going to put this there. I, I'm not really quite sure if I'm going to put sugars and creamers in that, or if I'm going to just line this and maybe put a couple of cups in it, or you might wake up to some fresh baked scones, but. Absolutely, this is going to be on my coffee bar, and yeah, so love my little deer. So it's going to be a reoccurring theme, <laughs> of course. And last but not least, of course, I don't know whoever had these. I mean, obviously hung them on their wall. Well, I'm not going to hang these on my wall. I, I don't mind plates being hung, but that's not really me. I bought them for the print that they are. They're both the same. I think virtually the same. But um, I don't know. I just found them lovely. And it's, one of, it's just one of those things that, you know, it, it's like, why have grandma's or great grandma's dish set if all it's going to do is set in the cabinet take it out and i'm going to take these off i'm going to wash them up and absolutely enjoy them you know there's i think probably grandma or whoever would probably appreciate someone finally using them and remembering the person that's behind it. Of course, I don't have people behind this, but I do have dishes and things, some things from my grandmother and some things from the inn that I'm going to absolutely, they are dear to me. Of course they are, but I'm going to bring them out and I'm going to absolutely use them and enjoy them because, I mean, I'm not going to be here forever. And so, yeah, I, I want to enjoy what I have accumulated. I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and listening to me ramble on. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful, awesome rest of the day. And please, please stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, 
and stay magical. Mary part, and I absolutely so hope to Mary meet again. Goodbye, guys.